We've seen some tragic fires that have left, you know, multiple families homeless. And I mean, it's, there's never a good time, but especially through the holidays, the new year, it's, it's very sad for those people that have been affected. You can still smell the smoke here in Forest Lawn, where an apartment complex fire left 16 people out in the cold. Now, the fire started in a top unit just behind me right here. Firefighters telling me that they had to open up the ceiling before they could enter in to knock down the fire. The challenging part when fire gets into an attic is that it moves along the hidden spaces. And so you basically have to tear the ceiling open or open the attic from above to get at the fire because otherwise you're just putting water where where you think the fire is, but you need to find the fire and, and it can travel very quickly. <laughs> Just last month, a massive blaze ripped through this condo building along 14th Street Southwest. The cause still unknown, but officials say these fires can travel quickly and destroy multiple homes. Luckily for these residents, fire crews were able to extinguish the flames and everyone was evacuated safely. The only damage reported was to the unit where the blaze broke out. Because each unit has an external uh, door, so it it's not a hallway and joint unit situation so there's no fire alarm system everyone has their own smoke alarms and unless the fire gets into your place the smoke alarm isn't going to activate. Calgary Fire are still working to determine whether or not the unit had working smoke detectors that being said this is always a good time to check your fire detectors. We know that the most common causes of fires we attend especially over the holiday season are cooking left unattended, open flames like candles, electrical fires, smoking. And so a lot of these can be prevented. And if you're not successful in preventing them, we really hope that you have working smoke alarms in your home that will alert you to the problem. In Calgary, Allie Miller, City News.